Hello everyone. We will continue the topic change pointers and we are covering change pointer configurations and we covered the first step with the help of BD61 transaction code. You can activate the change pointer into the whole system itself. It will enable the change pointer globally. Just see BD61 is at the top level itself. Either you can activate or deactivate. If you will activate, data will go to BDCP2 table. If you will deactivate, data will not go to BDCP2 table, which is the change pointer log table. If data will not go, program will not process anything. Anyways, if program will not process anything, the changes will not reflect to the other clients. Now we will go for next configuration step. What is next configuration step? Enable change pointers for a message type. Just understand hierarchy is going on. Firstly, we activated the change pointer in the system itself at the global level itself. Now we are enabling the change pointers at the message type level, message type. For the best understanding, we will go for an example. Suppose I'm saying we have the materials. Suppose we want to send the materials from one SAP client to another SAP client. You all know for the materials, the message type is MAC mass. Suppose along with this, we want to send suppose vendors also. I will check the message type of vendors. Now I'm taking two data. One is material and one is vendor. If I will go for message type of the vendor. Okay, this is the message type of the vendor. I'll just check again. Is this? Yes, C-R-E-C-O-R. -E this is the message type for the vendor. Just see how project will ask for the requirements. So now for the materials, this is the message type. For vendor, this is the message type. Now just go for a requirement. Now suppose customer is saying materials, ref materials changes should reflect to the other system, but vendor changes should not reflect to the other system. Now what people will do? If you are only only aware about BD61 transaction code, what you will do in that case? You will go to BD61 transaction code and you will deactivate this particular flag. Just think, if you will deactivate this particular flag, it means change pointer is disabled in the system itself. If change pointer is disabled at the global level, it means materials for materials also that data will not go to BDCP2 table for vendor also that data will not go to BDCP2 table. But customer is not asking for this requirement. Customer is saying for materials, yes, the changes should reflect to other systems or other client. But for vendors, I do not want this. In that case, the further activation is required at the lower level, at the message type level. That's why SAP provided, add, uh, provided the activation at the message type level also. And this is real project work. In the projects, many time customer will say, okay, I do not want unnecessary IDOC for vendor. I do not want unnecessary IDOC for cost center because I do not want those changes to go to other system. 
why unnecessary idox are generating i only only bought the idox for the materials in that case what you need to do you cannot go for deactivation here because if you will deactivate at the higher level how lower level will work at all in that case you need to deactivate or activate based upon the message type level message type suppose if i will go to next transaction code what is next transaction code bd50 if i will go to bd50 transaction code now you can see in this we have message type and in front of that we have a active flag and it is clearly saying activate change pointers for message type if i will show you mat mass here if i will go to mat mass have you seen for mat mass the flag is active the flag is active that's why we are able to see the data into bdcp2 table now suppose we'll go for simple example now customer is saying okay i do not want any any log or i do not want the material changes should go to the other system okay and i want these vendor changes should go to the other system then in that case never never deactivate this in that case all data will stop we should not do that now what we will do we do not want materials changes should go to other client we will deactivate it i will go for save i will save into configuration request yes anyways i already created the customizing request no sorry customizing request i saved now i will show you now mm02 transaction suppose i am going for this method i will change this particular material suppose i am putting i am just removing this okay suppose i am again make again making it as test i will save now i will go to cd hdr and cd post table i will put my user id date i will go for last change document number i will put into cd post table so i will go for now contents i will go for change document number and you can see old value is this and new value is this okay i think i copied the wrong number i'll just check that table again cd hdr i'll put my user id date mm02 last is 1135 i think date changed i will go for 22 because i think date changed for the system yes previously i got i took the wrong document number this is the right document number because the date change for the system i will go to cd post i'll put the document number yes testing 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 this is the new value now i will go to bdcp2 table if i will go to bdcp2 table if i will put the same to same thing same to same document number here 
if i will execute have if you will see you disabled for mat mask you are not able to see any entry for mat mask yes we have other message type but mat mask we disabled so it means if mat mask entry is not going and if you are running this particular program running this particular program for mat mask how that particular record will process so this is the most most important next point we are enabling the change pointer for a particular message type now i will again make it active i will go for save now suppose if i am changing the material if i will go for okay okay now if i will again make it testing if i will go to cd hdr and cd post table i will go to cd hdr table first i will display the contents now the date is 22 i will not put the wrong date this is the latest document number i'll put into cd post so we have the old value and new value now if i will see in bdcp2 table we have a entry for map mass if i will go for execute now you can see we have a entry for mat mass and it has not processed whenever we will run the program this record will process and changes will reflect to the other system so what is the summary of this particular video in this video we covered the second configuration step enable change pointers for a message type particular message type and maximum people has a thinking in the mind if we are enabling the change pointers at the global level we can activate or deactivate at the global level why there is a further filtration at the lower level at the message type level the simple understanding in the real projects you have so many types of data material data cost center profit center vendor customer if customer is saying i only only want to reflect the changes of materials not others then in that case if you will deactivate at the global level everything will stop but this is not our requirement if customer want everything to stop then you can simply deactivate that play flag but that is not real project requirement real project can ask for okay i do not want unnecessary id of for cost center i do not want want unnecessary id of for profit center i only want id of for the materials because i want the data to send for materials only in that case you can simply simply go to bd50 transaction code and you can activate or deactivate yes at the message type level itself now in our requirement we are going for materials so just make sure for the meti mat mask it should be active because many time people think okay the change pointers flag is ticked in the system bd61 done but in bd50 this flag is not active just just check it is active at the message type level also in the next video we will further further go for one more hierarchy and that is extremely important from the real project perspective so that's it in this video thank you